Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back at it here at Walker Ford in stormy Clearwater, Florida. But guess what? That doesn't stop the show from going on. What do I have for you? I have a big, bad Mamma Jamma. This is it. This is a redesigned 2023 Ford Super Duty. This particular one is an F-350 Lariat trim. But before we get into this maxed out work truck that also has some off-road capabilities and luxury to it, let's talk about what's going on here. Ford sells a ton of Super Duties, not only to traditional customers, but also to fire departments, police stations, cable companies, all sorts of companies out there in different industries where they need reliable, hardworking trucks. Well, guess what? For 2023, they decided to bring a new style, also some new engine options, but still bring in that tried and true towing capability and wait until I show you the interior of this thing. But what I wanna find out is, do you go Ram? I know Ram is all about the fancy interiors. A lot of people like those Cummings turbo diesel engines. Do you go that route or do you go with the Power Stroke turbo diesel that we have? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this jet black Lariat trim F350 and find out. Right off the bat, the size of this thing. This is a beefy size truck that could do a lot of things very, very well. Now at the front of the business, I don't even have to bend over. I don't even think Steven needs to bend down at all because we could show you all of the new style for 2023. You have this C-shaped LED daytime running lamp, your turn singles, and your LED headlights. On the Lariat trim, you're gonna get a lot of bling blingy chrome because Lariat trim is higher up there. Remember, it starts at XL, XLT, Lariat, so on and so forth, up to that top limited and platinum trims. But let me know what you feel about the chrome. I like the way that they've designed that interlocking into the C-shape, that interlocking setup. Working our way down, we do have LED fog lamps, and I like the way it's got a nice, smooth, simple housing, flat black. And then of course you're gonna get uh, those massive tow hooks. Hook this up to a ram and you could yank it right out of its garage with these bad boys. Now as you come across the front, you got a Flava Flav style Ford badge. He would be very happy to wear that around his neck or I could even see Henry Ford wearing that around his neck if he was still around. Now it's like Henry Ford the 67th, so maybe he'd wanna wear it. But you do have a forward facing camera. Let me know how you feel about the chrome. Not my thing, but I know out there in the truck world, somebody's gotta like the chrome because Ford is still doing it. Working our way down, you got this mega scooper here that's gonna help scoop air for our turbo diesel engine. And this is removable, by the way. This air dam, which is there for aerodynamic efficiency, is removable. So don't think that you have to rip it off on a parking block to get rid of it. You could just remove it yourself. Now, as we ride, I gotta, I gotta take a deep breath. As we rise on up, you got that nice bold hood. New for 2023, I like the way it's got a nice simple fold to it and then it meets the grill with the Super Duty name stamped right in there. And then as we go really wide, because this is a big beast, what do we got working wheel and tire setup on our Lariat trim? So what you're gonna find are these 22 inch wheels. I'm digging the style, machine aluminum. You got that metallic gray finish and then you can see all of the suspension. Steven, get your butt in here. You got your springs. Look at the way you can see a little bit of the engine compartment there, everything beefed up. And what I love about it is that no flat black. So we have our chrome bumpers up front, that nice body color match. We rise back up. Look at the way they did the side grill, a side uh, fender vent. It's almost like a grill. It's bigger than some grills on some cars. This is all functional. Lariat F350. Flat black with some body color. It's like a, a combo deal. You got the Ford name there with the LED lighting. Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. So we have that 6.7 liter. And you could actually get it standard like we have, or you could get a high output, if you could believe that. More horsepower and more torque. I like the color match door handles. What I like even more in this Lariat trim is watch this. Highly recommend getting some type of running board. I like the electric dropping and then they bring it right back up. Working our way towards the rear, you have this side set. Very nice to get in to the rear of the truck, the bed of the truck. You can see all the suspension, that steel box frame. 
nicely set up at the rear. This one does have, of course, the FX4 off-road package. So that's gonna increase the capability. And then as we swing it around, Steven's gonna kinda of like drop back to the angle there. Very, very nicely done what they did on the, on the rear. You got your lighting on the rear, LED. We have our tailgate with the Super Duty name stamped in there. We're gonna work our way down because we got our full tow capability. Plus for 2023, we also have our corner steps. I wonder where they got that idea from. Let me know in the comment section if you know. Now, when you drop this, soft release. Look at that, it's like feather soft. This one doesn't have a bed liner, but of course you could get a bed liner. You got your LED lighting. The only thing I feel like this one is missing is some power in the back. I would like some power. But other than that, mega size. And then of course we have that traditional optional step set up for the rear bed to get in. It's very, very easy. What's nice about this setup is that you still have a very strong tailgate. The problem with the multi-flex one on the GM products, or remember how Ram has that barn door, like double door setup. This one is nice and rigid and you have the step included. But while we go ahead, I'm going to put this all away. I'll clean up my mess. Let's go ahead. Let's pop the hood and see what the heck is powering this turbo diesel. All right, guys, we got that ginormous hood open. You have hood struts. Underneath that hood is the tried and true power plant. So like I said, you have four different engine options. This one, though, is a continuation from last year. It's a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. Now, before you say, well, hold on a second, I want some changes, I'm not so sure you do. We got 475 horsepower and over a thousand pound feet of torque, 1,050. That's more than the Ram. It's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. The Ram doesn't have a 10 speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 in about seven seconds. And the vehicle weighs about 9,000 pounds. Now here's the great news. Payload, you're looking at around 8,000 pounds. Conventional towing, 13,700 pounds, and if you do gooseneck, you could tow up to 40,000 pounds. Think about that. If you have somebody you don't like and you want to upset their day, hook this thing up to their house and you could pull the house right off the foundation. But while we go ahead, I don't want to do that to anybody, but what I do want to show you is this thing in motion. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire it up and see it go. All right, guys, we're inside this big, bad, brute-like 2023 F-350 Super Duty. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been contemplating. I've been thinking about getting a Ram. A lot of people tell me not to do it, even though they got nice interiors. I've always been a Ford guy. I'm liking this Super Duty. How much is it? So this particular one, being a Lariat trim, MSRP is right at $83,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels. I like all of the nice materials. Soft touch up top with that contrast stitching. You got a little bit of this wood style trim, no gloss black around the switch gear, nice soft armrest, and then you have your Twinkie pocket in the center. Large enough for four Twinkies, the optional B&O sound system, and then you could go to Subway and get two foot longs and fit them in there with no problem in the door pocket. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. Love the material here. I like this aluminum finish that they did with the Super Duty name. That's a nice, tasteful thing. Slide on in, what do we got going on? This mega size 12 inch infotainment system, nicely integrated. I'm glad it's not one of those ones that look like in the Mach-E or the Ford Lightning. It's got all of the, the features you want. You hit the features button, it's got your running board, your zone lighting, the whole shabam. I'll throw it in reverse. We got a column shifter. I don't know if Steven could show this, but we got a column shifter for the 10 speed. Put it back in the park. I, I guess I got to let him show the backup camera. Getting a little out of sync here, but we got our trajectory, 360 degree camera. So we're covered there. And then you got a plethora of buttons. Real volume knobs, tuning knobs, dual climate control, three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, heated steering wheel, 
home power source, 12 volt. You got them both. Look how fast I'm showing. I'm going faster than Steven could even focus. You have your different drive modes and your ability to go into the 4x4 system, lock the rear diff, more of that wood style finish, open sesame, Ooh. wireless charging, USB-C, USB-A on the side. If you're trying to get some potassium, you could put a couple bananas. You got a place for some uh, Twizzlers or Slim Jims. And then watch this, watch this engineer. Are you ready for this? Abracadabra, Alakazam, make there be more than two cup holders. Two cup holders, two cup holders. That's four cup holders. Or you could fill this up with some more Twinkies. Easy, easily will fit eight Twinkies, or you could get one of those Edmund, Edmund's bun cakes in here. You do have your standard four key fob. Nothing wrong with that. Still works just fine with remote start. Love the soft material. Open this bad boy up. I hope you got your balls ready because you could actually put two signed NFL footballs in there. You got two USB-Cs and you got a place to keep your family jewels. So you got your balls and your family jewels totally secure. And then the seats, the leather, the piping, the stitching, electric assist for the passenger. I'll let Steven show that. Electric assist for the driver. The big zonk is where the hell is the sunroof? $83,000? I want to see the freaking sun. Even though the sun isn't shining today, I want to pretend like I'm seeing it through my sunroof. The good news is you do got have these auxiliary switches up top, which is great. Get a winch, get some extra lighting. You can make this light up like uh, the USS Enterprise at night and just blind everybody. But why don't you go ahead, after you're done getting your vision back because you've been blinded by the light, Come on over here. I want to show you behind the wheel of this F-350. Hi guys, business time in this big bad truck. We got, of course, our three memory seat settings. You can get to your power seat controls very easily, all with the touch of a finger. I got power sliding pedals, which, is, which are cool. Plenty of room in here. These seats, they redesigned them for 2023. And I like the way it really fits around me nicely. It, 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 it is an improvement over last generation. Steering wheel, leather, stitching. Once again, I need to call up Ford and find out who designs these horn buttons because it's just boring. This is a Lariat trim, $83,000. Show me the money. Show me the money on this horn button, but you got flat black on, this, on the different uh, switch gear. You do have your power tilting and telescoping steering wheel, power folding mirrors with lights, and then you have your dash. That large 12.3 inch digital display. I like the way you could scroll through a cornucopia of different information and the graphics are so clear, so precise, really, really great. And we have our driving modes and then it gets Gran Turismo-esque. Look at this. It's like watching a movie, the story of the F-350 and all the different modes that it has. So they got you covered there when it comes to modes. I kind of like this, like there's a trailer and then woo. There goes the trailer. And then there's the trailer again. So they really got you covered nicely. And a head up display that's like 13 inches in size. But let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be happy that you went forward over ramp. Back seat time. And I'm telling you, if you ever get one of these, you're just gonna spoil your rear seat passengers because the room back here is just downright ridiculous. Pockets so large you could get a couple cookie cakes. Those are always good for any party. Two cup holders, your AC vents, two USB-Cs, and two uh, stages of heated seats. The only problem is, where's my ventilated seats? $83,000, I should get some ventilated seats. You do have a 12 volt and a home power source. And then you got tons of room in here. Very, very comfy, very spacious with the headroom. Pull this down. I would like this to just be a little bit wider. I mean, come on, this is a big truck and then you went really narrow on the armrest because you gave me these two rinky dinky cup holders. Just give me a little bit more real estate. If you got a man-sized truck, you need a man-sized armrest for your man-sized arm in this Ford F-350. But while we go ahead, I think it's about that time. Let's go on throttle and see how this new 2023 Super Duty hauls down the road. All right, guys, we are inside this F-350 Super Duty. It's one of those kinds of trucks that 
it's massive. And if you're not used to driving a large truck, it's gonna feel big, but they have some great tech with Ford, like the uh, Pro Trailer Assist, the Backup Assist, lots of different technology to allow you to drive this large truck with comfort and confidence. I really wanted to show you what it was like being inside the cabin of this truck. That's why I have the camera angled this way. And one of those things that very, it's very well laid out in here, getting to the infotainment system, all the knobs, the switch gear, you got your drive modes, the new seats I am in freaking love with, and the materials. I mean, it feels really, really nice here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the new, the Ram trucks, they do have that nicer quality interior, but underneath that hood, like I said, we have tree trunk, tree stump pulling torque, 1,050 pound feet of torque out of this Power Stroke turbo diesel. The head up display really is a nice setup as well. And then of course you got great visibility. But going with the tried and true Power Stroke turbo diesel, I think is the way to go. You could also go with Godzilla. No, not a Nissan GTR. That's a different Godzilla. We're talking about that 7.3 liter naturally aspirated v8 and then they have the smaller displacement naturally aspirated v8s plus a high output power stroke turbo diesel so they're really bringing something for everybody but all the storage space the way everything is laid out in here and the fact that when you go lariat trim you're getting heated and ventilated seats and for those of you that think that a real truck has a column shifter this one has your column shifter for the 10 speed automatic. All right guys, pulling away from the light. Very, very smooth throttle action. The 12.3 inch digital display has all the information you could ever hope or want. And if you really want to see these trucks in action, I have the video and I'll leave it at the end of this one where we did all the towing. We did all of the things that you want to do truck style with a super duty i have that video i'll leave the link of that at the end of this one but the 10 speed is as smooth as butter and i like the way it doesn't chase through the gears which is great they really have worked on that and made quite an improvement and the rideability i mean the the drivability everything about it the comfort it just really handles well for a large truck and it rides well for a large truck and i really can appreciate the engineering that went behind it to get this truck to do that i like the way on the head up display when it comes to your lane keep assist it actually has two lines to let you know where the where the lane is on throttle here we go drops down and we're off so you definitely have plenty of power and having the option for that turbo diesel, like I said, is something that when it comes to a work truck, a heavy duty truck, or in this case, a super duty truck, uh, you want that torque. You want the torque that this Power Stroke turbo diesel delivers. But going the F-350 route, having all these finishes, once upon a time, trucks were not like this. But now it's crazy what they're bringing to the table and just how smooth it is driving down the road. That's the nice thing. There's not a lot of a bunch of hop, a lot of body sway or anything like that. It's really stable and it's very comfortable. But I'm hoping that this was a good overall review of what this new F-350 Super Duty is all about. We're gonna get back to Walker Ford and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a mega sized Tonka truck kind of day here at Walker Ford. Definitely got to thank Frank Walker, Western Walker, Tracy, Mark the Gooch, and the rest of the crew. Let me know down in the comment section, are you going super duty for 2023 or are you going to go Ram? Which way do you like your heavy duty truck? But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Gotta give it up, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Wish him congratulations. He just got a brand new tarantula. His other one passed away, picked up a new one. 
and uh, Spidey is doing really good. So show Steven and Spidey some love in the comment section. Thank you, Steven, for being so dedicated, not only to us, but also to your pets. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.